<laughs> Hi, America. I didn't really get hit in the face. It looks just like that, though. I did something really dumb on a table, uh, but I think I'm retarded in those sense. Um, I'm on Route 71. Watching something, old man? You enjoying the fucking show, you stupid fucking idiots? Ugh. Side of the road is the most is the weirdest phenomenon with temperature. Temperature first, I'll just say that. Uh, five minutes ago, I had like six layers on. I have gloves on. I have. It's like waking up is very cold. Waking up is very cold. But that's it's. Uh, I could see the like the since I was in second grade. I remember asking my mother if she can if I can have a fan, which I would literally have blow in my face. Every single night that I've ever slept, except for the nine total months in incarceration and this very latest winter in my aunt's uh, basement because it was already too cold and I just didn't use it for the first time, even during, because it's never been that cold in the place where I've slept. I guess so that would be maybe, I mean, in a heated house in the winter growing up, I still needed a fan. Every single night, could not sleep unless a fan was blowing in my face from like two feet away. Now, that's to make one cold, because I cannot achieve sleep. I, that makes one, it's, it's meant to make someone cold that, so that you have to warm yourself. But there's also so much incentive in everything nature does. So the sleep pattern It's like it make you have to make yourself really cold to get yourself warm to achieve any sleep. But that's also like I have been insomniac for a long, long time. The salt is the only thing that ever gave me any regular eight hours sleep. You know, since uh, I was like 17, 18. It's like that's that's a good thing though, insomnia. Like it makes you to use that time eventually. You know, if you're mature, they would call it like manic depressive just because um, you're deep in thought over and you're not getting a lot of sleep, but they would call it some chemical. I'm not diagnosed with anything with like that, but that's what they would always, that's what the latest bullshit at the hospital is trying to pass off is some manic depressive episode. No, my, they just bent my cat's wrist and hurt little cinnamon, starving my big old fat small. Uh, off subject, but like waking up is the hardest thing in the world. So nature makes it, but it's that hard because of the te it's cold. That's why you wake. I wake up without a shower. There is a, no achieving an internal body warmth, which is lost throughout the night. Made nature makes me make myself cold so that I warm myself up in a, in the night with blankets and make myself really toasty to keep that circulation flowing. Because otherwise, because like sleep undoes all of the structural physiology of like uh, shoulder inju injuries, hip injuries, uh, spina bifida culta. But that's nothing. I mean, right? the spina spina bifida culta is like uh, you, I was a chubby little kid, but I could see how re running was very hard with that lower back, with such carriage and hip proportions to. I mean, that's puberty. That's growing up. You go through that. Everybody has their own specific physiological limitation, which is instituted at such time in puberty or becomes relevant because those proportions are what you're going to grow into as a 20 something. So it's like you bear, that's everybody. But like I could, so running, sleep, let me stay on subject, sleep. Retaining the heat. That's I wake up in waking up is the hardest thing in the world. Especially like through this last winter where there is no uh, superficial heat. Being uncivilized, the basement is was still this 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 absolutely freezing cauldron. It's just a place where I can have my stuff. It didn't get heat, and it it, it did get electricity with this spa shitty space heater that you have to keep both feet literally within a, a three. 
three cubic inches to re retain any of that heat, so you gotta keep your legs perfectly still wrapped up and your feet directed right there, which means they have to be at least a foot in the air. So you gotta find some prop that's going to, it, it just, to make you, that thing stay stationary and your feet stay stationary and not have to focus on it the entire time. It, it's a nightmare. Hey, guy with the, I've seen that Jeep before. No, I haven't I've seen similar Jeeps. With a, there's a star, a good star. But like, sleep is, he that loveth sleep shall never be uh, rich, never be wealthy. And I lose, I don't, I, a good day is staying up for 30 to 60 hours and maybe getting enough sleep by the, after that time, by enough, you got to go half. So, but like, if you get, tw if I need 20, but I only get 12 to 13, that's just fine with me. That's like adding hours awake, but like feeling no less depleted whatsoever. It's on, it's contingent upon four wheels, Raycab car with four wheels. Four uh, chemical agents in my body. Not the four humors. I didn't fucking say the four humors. I said I said four chemical agents. Narcotics. I was yeah. I, I'm not talking to the locals when I'm talking. But there's another point I wanted to make because they get me riled up with stupid shit. But this is not what I was going to talk about. But now that it, I remembered, I was also going to say this as well. But nature, like, but I, it hard, it's so hard, you don't uh, wake up and it's, you know that it's temperature, you just generally feel a disgruntlement until you get that shower which warms you up. Retaining of heat, it's come to like, uh, in the past, after I was 30, to realize like, uh, this temperature gradient literally rules every aspect of like my mood. If I'm in a warm place, it's very hard to be in a bad mood because that base, that most basic element is provided, the heat. Winter, it was a, tr last winter, like I lost my soul through spewing out venom through my mouth. So angry at God. I mean, I'm yelling at the wind alone. I mean, I'm yelling at God. Me and God are having, what the fuck, man? <laughs> That's how you, I mean, Literally, yelling keeps yourself warm in the winter, and if instead of just going ah, well, the only thing you can think of, God damn it, God damn it, God damn it, make me warm. That's why I have to migrate to warmer climate. But these fucking morons. Oh, let me get into the. I'm gonna stop this video. But it's all but like, so in a different in one dream, someone went, was going really high. I'm watching. And then they get caught up in the in the barbed wire. Barbed Y. E R? Y E R. <laughs> they barred my bed. But I'm looking at this person. It's like they have to wear the bar bed. Why? Why did you kick him out? Because he made a vi video about Eric Pimple Dick Ricosi? That fucking sociopath? Ugh. Oh, big brother. <laughs> Disgusting freak. Jesus Christ. Uh, Boy Scout. Eagle Scout. Boy Scout. Hey, plaintiff or um, defendant? You know, they cashed, they made you know, the time for apply for, you know, to get in on that settlement. They made it on my birthday. <laughs> I'm like, I was a Boy Scout. No man put his wiener around uh, in me, <laughs> around her in me. I didn't put my wiener. I don't put my wiener around little boys. Um, so they have to wear the bar bed. Why? Barbed wire. They were caught up in the barbed wire. Bar bed. B A R. Or is it B A R R? No, I think it's B A R. A barb. B A R B E B E D. B A R B E D. Bar bed. Why? Wire. Layers like a real. Why the fuck does Johanna know him? Or Caroline? Why, do they, why does it matter? It's, it's sick. It is sick. These things are monstrous. And they just have rooted down in Illinois. International forces have bought all of Illinois. And are these things are ancient and disgusting. 
Anyways, bar bed. It's about sleep. I don't like sleep anyway, but like they know that without this. You enjoying the show? This guy's gonna try to yell something at me. I don't give a fuck what you think, Fright Trail. I would never go on one of these country haunted house for Halloween. It's a bunch of creepy men luring one or two of them to molest them. These things are so fucking gross. Every holiday, oh, your feast days and your celebration. I cannot away with them. Everything about you is gross. Awkward, perverted, fat, ugly slugs imposing upon pretty princess things. Who become angry, like, how couldn't you become angry? Their dads just let it, and like, they pretend they don't notice the stark change emotionally in their daughters. The lively pep seems to have been robbed from them. By some evil, these ugly slugs. Mark Nelson jo jokes, uh, <laughs> putting kids in cages with his um, I think um, Eric Snowden was at this uh, I saw him one time by, right when I got to Yorkville because I like was trying to reach out to the last person I knew and that I once loved but, like I respected this guy a lot I didn't want him to didn't want to like ask for that kind of he's, he's a scumbag but I think Eric Snowden was there. He was talking. He, he hired this guy to um, do some programming for a new website, and like the, gave him these shoes. You, oh man, no one ever wore a pair of shoes like this guy wore them. I'm not talking about the individual shoes, which were excellent, brown leather, but like, like them, like craftsman, excellent shoes. But like him wearing them, these things took over his persona. Oh my God, it was. Like Mark, Mark's bringing him around me, but he joked about joked about uh, kids putting kids in cages several times, all the time. Every time I was with him, we're not like he steered clear. It was that the the, the quantity that day was. My God, this, these people are disgusting. They, these characters they've just randomly thrown into my life, my life. These random characters, but sleep. throughout my life with, unless you get enough like that makes one wake up in a you have to get a shower right away which they also prevent so it's like I can't warm myself in the way I have warmed myself without realizing that's why I'm doing it cannot leave I mean like you can go maybe if you're out of coffee and go grab a coffee like but you're not going in or if you are you just got a hat on you get in and out of the gas station that's less than a mile from your house. That's the only way to like start any day without a shower. Like you don't, you don't play, you, you, if you, you, you have to wake up and take a shower. Not even because I feel like I smell. I, I never smell, but I, like my body turns bad odors through hard work. And these are possible for anybody to do. Your body wants to smell like an excellent zoologic flower. Just a, like, I've had one girl, Dale, you smell fantastic. Hey, thank you. Like, that's the natural, I was, I'm, I don't wear product. I just, like, your body accumulates its own signature smell as an animal. And, like, the more, the harder you work, the better your mood. It turns, every, your body has such amazing potential. It's like, you change your mood around, you're all of a sudden going to be better at your exercise because you're going into it more enthusiastic. Everything is contingent upon how, your outlook and how you approach it. This fat moron right here, he could be, he could attain the this excellent beauty about him if he set his mind to it. No matter, how, even though he might be my age, you could just. I mean, I've always you know, smelled good, I guess, but I've never used any product except for a very stringent amount of deodorants, like just like do you put on domino. I've seen people cake this shit in. It's like ugh. And then it's on your shirt, but it's like, you give like, just a, a swipe with a white stick. And it's like, you are, and then work all day, and that, even if you sweat, it'll evaporate off. But that's what they're doing, they're barring my every thing to keep me warm. I had to get on my bike and, like, ride miles to feel any warmth in my feet. It's about feet. That's what, it's like uh, during 
Last winter was so atrocious with no, and that was the second or third winter like that where it's, there is no heat now for seven months. No consistent heat. If I go upstairs, it's for a cigarette in my aunt's living room and we'll, I'll watch a, you know, television, whatever she's watching for 10 minutes and whatever we might say. She was very gracious to let me stay, but I mean, she was robbing me the whole time with these scumbags. But I mean, th through these months, there is no warmth. I had a car, so it's like, but how, I couldn't, I can't afford to just drive around. When I hit, was working as a caretaker, then that's how I used all my money, like just in, to stay warm was to drive around. That was two winters ago. Like the rest of the time, it is nonstop bitter cold. Without a, they don't let me have a place. It, I have to have like a sponsor, Johanna. I have to have like a legal guardian, Caroline, who is a scumbag. These things are abomination. Oh, it's terrible. It's disgusting. But it's over sleep and retaining of body warmth. Can't afford to, to feed myself warm like these fat mongrels can't keep myself warm with my own place and heating because they don't let me have my own per residence because like they take the double of every one of these videos it, they never happened i'm putting these treasures in heaven to where even after i'm gone like i know why i don't know why the lord would have just me do this but these are treasures in heaven you don't lay them up in the earth where moth moths can corrupt you lay them up in heaven. So like Google is learning how to think like a human through me. That's okay. If Google is God, sure. I mean, either way, it's an omnipotence that I need not question. Maybe this is how we can see God is Google. And then it sends us back in time and fixes our lives that others broke. I was writing on these things in a story called Krishna. A whirlwind sent another way. But they, they don't let me, it's all this uh, municipal military, police state. They have a double, they have double me's around and they just, uh, if they, if I only gave them, if they only had to work with the things they've heard, they have recorded of me and the videos I make, that's enough to catapult. These stones alone would shout aloud, says the Lord. But if you didn't say it, the very stones would fucking say it. Look at this work. Why do you think they're fucking following him everywhere and stealing everything he does? Not just because they're pedophile scumbags. It's brilliant fucking work. Sorry if that's too vain for your local Netflix expert, you fucking lazy morons. Well, I'm not, because well, you never fucking tried. I was a lonely, awkward idiot my whole life. Why do you think I'm so fucking smart? Because I had fun? Because people were nice to me? Ugh. I just didn't make it other people's problem. I didn't push it onto other people. That everybody I've ever met hates me because of that glint in my eye. And that, okay, uh, like, the, like the not wanting to either have sex with a male or like not being angry at them after they try to make me angry. For, until now, I'll just say anything I want to. You know, you're doing that because you're an ugly, unfuckable thing, right? Okay. You, but like, ugh. There's not allowed to have any permanence that they have to then, like IDOTS wants me to, ah, see if I pay, I owe them like $9 and they've, uh, they keep, when I didn't have data, I was receiving text messages from IDOT. Didn't have data, but still getting receiving my message from IDOT. You know, you know, loving maybe if I had a long lost family member that was trying to find what happened to that one dispossessed family member. They couldn't get a hold of me because I couldn't afford data. But IDOT wants its nine fucking dollars. That's Illinois saying, "Hey, I'll let him have his life back the second he pays me for mine." on a tollway system that I, you can't, I had to go through before there was an exit back off. I made the same exit like three times 
incurring this thing, trying to find my way out and around. I'm like, I'm not paying for this. Make a mechanism for the people to be on your shit road for $6, but if they happen to get caught there because it's their first time going through, or they're just an idiot like me, like that you owe them $20. And I'm like, I'm not paying this shit. I just let it pass. Ugh. And this idiot's waving like, I don't care. Whatever mockery you're doing, let me just stick to the subject. Anyways, I thought, I owe them $9. Like, that's, they'll vouch for my, for my having lived here my entire life, Illinois. Samanac until 18, and I went, no. I was born in, Mer uh, I won't say that. Mercy Hospital, Aurora, Illinois. They took me there not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, on another bogus bullshit thing. I was told in a dream by a man who also would later tell me another dream, I'm going to kill you. So I mean, he said, I wouldn't give the girl, I wouldn't go to Florida unless I absolutely had to. Maybe you wouldn't. So floor ID, A, floor ID, Florida. Floor, floor I, F -L -F -L -O -R -I -D -A. F-L-O-R-I-D-A, floor ID, A, Mercy Hospital, Aurora, Illinois. Oi, floor ID, A. <laughs> See, like that's in front of, like, that's the ground floor. He wouldn't. He later told me in a dream, I'm going to kill you. That's John William Paul II, my, my old man growing up. Dream. I mean, this guy is a scumbag. This is a piece of shit abomination. The one, the, But the terrible one should come to naught, and I get the last laugh, John William. Anyways, I died. So like, they're like, they won't release any documentation that I'm actually, I'm like uh, my citizenship, this Illinois disgusting internationally owned f fuck fest. They're all disgusting. I have to make another video on this. I dot was showing me something earlier because it's a bunch of retards. Bunch of fat idiots. This I dot. Just a bunch of like road road crew workers. The what job has like the least thought, but has total legitimacy of importance in society. Like you have to have the the infrastructure. But it's made by these construction companies that are like are raping America. With every millimeter of fucking road it builds, it lays down. In an archaic, obsolete fashion. Like I said, they started doing weatherproof, they called it weatherproof infrastructure. When I suggested, when I'm sitting there saying, why don't we use, stop making these stupid clamshells for a donut, which is choking Flipper to death, and Leviathan is dying carrying her fucking baby like a ragdoll. Why don't you make high... Like, high-resistance plastic and lay that down for the next millennia. You don't have to replace that shit ever. And then you do something like some replaceable surface on top of it, if not like an excellent gradient surface, where it's like you're getting the scientific most per your inertia, but then you're not make, using as much gas, so Exxon's not making as much. And you're fucking with that cash cow known as the road industry. So it's like you're cutting off both those. No. Fuck you, idiot. Yellow plate. Double A in the middle. Oh, they pass a lot of those by me. Permit plates or whatever. They give people free stuff for coming around me and acting like jerk-offs in their car. It's just this rich oligarchy of pimple dicks. They're disgusting. And there's a lot of heat on me, so that makes them so mad. Thou should be... Oh, nations, thou should be confounded for all your strength. One, they've, once my video went out there that I actually exist, like once... Oh my god, they've had they've just gone to such lengths to suppress everything of light. So it comes out to it where they have to take away. See this guy was just waiting down there? He was just halted. No, 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 just some guy in the middle of East 651th Street. No, nah, just get a halt in the middle of the road. They do that all the time. Just to show me they can. This is an this is a bunch of abominations. I think they're all wearing the most hideous disguises in the history of disguises. waking up. So I woke up in a forest, in a, something along Starved Rock. Like one of these stops that was um, utterly empty, desolate. Like it didn't look like it's ever, it gets used very often at all. There was a gate forbidding entry by a car. There's a gate. Um, hold on. But a nice gazebo, and I stopped just to have a cigarette. 
but then it ended up storming, which would have like literally cost me my life. I have these things with some pl of a plastic barrier in my bags here, but like then being out drenched wet, that would have just been like, how does one immediately address this? That it would have just been like you have to wash everything. I'm nowhere with it. I'm. <laughs> North Utica, I would, that was where the place was. This is Route 71, if you can see it in the distance. But they've gotten me kicked out of joint. It's so that I can't attain any rest or body heat. They know how much the cold, I hate the cold. They, oh, they called it. Renew, you know, weather pro meteorology proof road, which is good. I don't give a shit. What they listen to me, so at least they're using the good ideas. But I think it's because everybody hears them and they're like, Why don't we do that? Why is this all so stupid? You see, you pay billions and billions of dollars to fat road construction contractors. Are you kidding me? These fat, lazy things who are the ones who aren't doing that very laborious hard work. Road crew people, I mean, you're not there because they're there to think. They're there to work their fucking ass off, some of them, laying down asphalt. While the, mo the morons who are doing the contracting are the fat idiots without souls and with pimple dicks who make... you, Mary, you spend so many trillions over decades fixing an inch of infrastructure at a time. And it's like when the whole vascular needs to be just... Double, tripled, quadruple. If it was up to me, oh my god, America would enter a golden age that would never end. Oh, well, now you sound like Hitler. No, 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 I'm not talking about hurting anybody. My way of doing things would be a, an American utopia. The rest of the world, fuck off if you, I don't give a shit. We have everything we need right here. I would also have the, uh, hope, I would hope to have like Mexico and Canada merge into one state. And just like within these borders and Alaska, you don't need a thing from anybody. You don't need anything and you just do for yours. Because you have Middle Easterners going and protesting Washington because Americans don't want to be over there. Get the fuck back there then! If you're so fucking worried about it, get the fuck back there! What a fucking joke! I would be like, do you want to live in America or not? Well then you will live in America and leave the Middle East where it fucking is! freedom of speech. Are you full citizens? You just gonna go tell me I have to go be there? Because your people need a segue into America? A way to pump fucking blood money in there? Ugh. America, you are dumb as fucking dog shit. Sleep. But sleep. They do these tactics so that I can't get any sleep. Or I can get sleep, but I can't retain any warmth. And without a shower, I'm gonna wake up until I get to a climate, but they don't, you can't have any money. If you pick up cans, which I had considered, it's like 3,000 cans for 30 bucks. 3,000 you gotta carry. So if I have one of those, uh, I would, I'm waiting for a check from the IRS. I sleep on the fucking sidewalk and they, in the next video we will discuss how I dot did even, did even more dumb things. And all they do is cycle these people around me but I can't get my check from the IRS and I can't afford anything. And this disgusting fat Pritzker, this fucking storage freezer full of ice cream sandwiches, he fucking downed every one of them. They were stacked like Lego bricks filling the inside. Ate every single one. This fucking fat Pritzker, he hates me. The things they, they've all heard me say, they funneled his way, his fat ass way. He is not of the seed of David. He is of, um, who's the shit one that, is it, it, I don't, I don't know. Haman actually means noise or tumult, and I'm the one that makes noise, but I don't make tumult. But this fat Illinois, this awful, disgusting, uh, Hindu-owned Illinois is disgusting. You know the Hindus. They sent, and they own so much of your, all of your fast food franchises. 
all of your haberdashery. Like, very, with tons of key industries, they have a, like, the monopoly in, in America. And then the digital stuff, like, their digital warfare across the world has a bunch of bugs doing that. This is, um... 11.08, Tuesday, September 21st, 2021. I'm going to start and stop. But sleep, they're denying this the sleep. Can't retain any temperature. Don't have any money, can't... You have to have a... You can't just have an app in a digital world. You have to have... I mean, the government punishes homelessness by keeping you homeless to... It's about humiliation. I'll go into that in the next one. But um, they're disgusting. This government, this Illinois government in in America, the sh the shit in the shit. Oh, it's disgusting! I hate these things. And all these fat idiot citizens driving trucks, and that's all they ever. That's the their, their whole life's pursuit was to be able to maintain and afford a fucking monthly payment on a nice truck, and to eat out fast food. Two times a day, at least. It's like they have they have nice jobs with like the eye dot, but no friends or social prowess to use it to go meet women. They're not good looking. They're fat. They're lazy. Though they have a job, that's what they. That's like their whole essence of their persona is that they they can hold on a job. 